Another quantum property we can use is something called phase kickback. To understand how this works, let's consider this circuit. As you can see, we have a qubit in the plus state and another qubit in the state V. We also have an arbitrary controlled U operation. Let's say that V is an eigenstate of U. So if we apply the U gate to the state V, we get e to the i theta V. Since all eigenvalues of quantum computers can be represented as e to the i theta. Now, at psi sub 1, we have the state plus v. Let's expand the plus state and distribute the v state into the plus state. At psi sub 2, we apply the controlled u gate. Nothing happens to the first superposition state since the control is a zero, but the second superposition state has the gate applied to the v state since the control is a 1. We can now factor back out the v state from the equation. Can you see what has happened? v is unchanged, even though it was the target qubit, and a factor of e to the i theta has been applied as a relative phase to the control qubit. This occurs if v is an eigenstate of the gate you are applying. We call this phenomenon phase kickback, and it is used in some quantum algorithms.